to live back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on. What's going on, guys? It's Bryce from Fitz Records, and we're back with the video. In today's video, we got another installation of the weekly series here, New Music Friday. You know what I'm saying? It is Friday. It is a new week. I'm going to go through all the singles and projects I have been listening to that dropped this week, and not only on this Friday, but any time in the week beforehand. And this playlist is linked in the description down below, so if you want to check out all the tracks I listen to, make sure you get into that. So without wasting any of your time, without further ado, we're going into it, starting with the singles, and there were a lot of singles this week. Not that many projects, but a lot of singles this week, so... I'm going to try to go through them kind of quickly, you know, give my brief thoughts on them, not go too crazy into detail, because there's a lot of them. So starting out here, Logic Paradise 2, the third single to his album College Park. This is my favorite single from the album so far. It is great. It is smooth. It got that live bass instrumental, you know, Nor Jones' voice is angelic on this, Logic's bars, his flow. It's crazy. This song is crazy. If you haven't heard any of the singles, even if you have, I would definitely encourage checking this one out, because this one is like that all right this one's like that all right i know i know i like logic a lot but this one is genuinely like that next track we got here ron artest babyface ray 42 doug this shit is smooth this shit is just that instrumental oh i know this is like a leak or like an unreleased snippet whatever it is one of those types of songs that people are waiting on for a while and let me tell you it lives up to those expectations this next track here feel good slow tie second single to his upcoming album rock inspired this one's a little more upbeat you know he's using his vocal inflections in different ways he's not just rapping how he was definitely definitely enjoyed this would encourage checking this out definitely a little experimental you know solid single right there this next single here by ghost love me and Lil Uzi vert fact now i'm not the biggest fan of this guy's voice or his inflection on here but i must say this is some classic Uzi. he kind of sounds like it's old but or he, it could be just Uzi trying his old shit again but it was smooth it was nice i was fucking with the uzi first uzi killed it pink tape soon hopefully and you know ghost loves me's verse was whatever but uzi killed it all right uzi fucking killed it next track here we got gs1 by connie and the loopers Holy shit, dude. I love the Loopers. The Loopers is one of my favorite artists. And this track is all over the place. High energy. Crazy sounds in the instrumental. Uh, I think Connie's a producer. And they went crazy. All right, this this song is, like, hard. This shit is, like, this shit makes you just want to dance. All right, this is some, like, techno fucking crazy in the club dance type shit. And I love it. I love it. This next track we got here is by A1B and Babyface Ray. It's called Early. Kind of a little bit of a generic track. I will say I love Babyface Ray. A1 Beam, never really heard him, but he did good on this track. It, it's just a nice track. It's kind of what you expect from a Babyface Ray feature. This next track here is very special. It's from a friend of mine, but an incredibly talented artist, rapper, poet. Del Nelson, Reparations is the title of the track. Holy shit, the instrumental on this is just... It, 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 it hits your soul. The lyrics, you know, are deep. You know, I catch something new every time I listen to this song. His delivery is A1. Del Nelson's been killing it. I would highly... Highly, highly encourage you to check out his other shit because he is fire. Definitely do that shit. This song is great, though. This song is super fire. This next track I got here is by Dead Boy DJ and Zelly Ocho. Money High is pretty much what you expect from a Zelly Ocho song. You know, he got that crazy vocal inflection, rage type beat, you know what I'm saying? Not really much to say about that, but I did enjoy it. It was a better Zelly Ocho song because I don't really like all his music like that. This next, we got Righteous Lil Nar remix by Mo Beats and Lil Nar. This was hard, a little more, almost, I don't want to say rage as well, it, I don't know, I don't really know how to classify this song, I just know Lil Nar slid on it, alright, Lil Nar went crazy in this track, definitely encourage checking this one out. This next track here is by Jimmy Bolt, featuring Max O Cream, it's called Dawson's Creek, this is some soul, like, coke type music, you know what I'm saying, this is almost Griselda-ish, but they both snapped Max O Cream, incredible artist, incredible rapper, I've never heard of Jimmy Bolt before, but... They both work together very well on this. The cover art's fire as well. And this is this is a good this is a quality track, right? So far, this is this is one of the more quality tracks I've went over so far. This next track here is from Zakari featuring Absol. It's called Motions. TDE Boys coming in crazy with a nice, smooth, chill track. This is just some laid back, you know what I'm saying? Smoking a joint type shit. I'm fucking with this. I'm fucking with this track. It is nice. It is euphoric almost. And I'm messing with it. Almost the complete opposite of that is this next track, Come Eat With Us by Young Scooter and ESTG. Holy shit, this shit is hard. I mean, it's it's what you expect from Young Scooter and ESTG, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's kind of slappy, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of going in pretty hard, so I was fucking with that a good amount. 
This next track here is from Danny Towers, DJ Scheme, Ski Master the Slump God featuring Lil Tyler. We got Florida Water. This shit is hard. Ski is finally fucking back. That verse is crazy. Lil Tyler's verse is crazy. Danny Towers' verse is crazy. The beat is crazy. This is one of my favorite songs of the week, for sure. This right here, this shit is so hard. This shit is so hard. I, I'm a fan of all these artists. I've been waiting for especially Ski to drop, but Lil Tyler have been getting into more. He's killing it. He's like fucking 16 or some shit. He's killing it. Danny Towers has always been fire from what I've heard from him. That vocal inflection is crazy. This track is nothing different. Definitely encourage checking that out. They complement each other well. All three of these vocal artists complement each other super well. And you know, DJ Scheme's always going to deliver on that instrumental. This next track here, also kind of going through that hard almost route. We got Red Eyes. Black Dragon Josiah featuring one Nonly. I think that's just supposed to say Lone. I don't I don't know how to say this guy's name. But this track is almost like I don't even know how to explain it. It's hard as fuck, but it's also like subtle and classical. I think it's that sample in the back of the beat mixed in with Josiah going doing his fucking Josiah thing, screaming and shit. It's hard. I'm fucking with it. This is a good track. I don't think it's as good as Killers and Robbers that he just released with Denzel Curry, Midwest, Matt Ox, but it's hard. I check it out. I check it out. Next track here, another one of my favorite tracks of the week. Jay Worthy and Currency dropped the track called Terry Davis. Now, oh, this is smooth. That instrumental is smooth. They are just floating on this shit, effortlessly rhyming in rap. It just effort. It, whenever Currency raps, it sounds effortless. This track is no different. God, this track is like it's nice. All right, this track is smooth, chill. I'm fucking with it. It's straight vibes. You know what I'm saying? Now, this next track from Autumn. Can't rent anymore. Of course, this is after he crashed his car and they put him on a no rent list. He can't rent anymore, and I think it's hilarious. He has the Drake Care Package cover on this. This song's hard though. It's hard as fuck. It's um, it's less plug and be. It's less melodic than what Autumn's kind of been doing recently. It's more that antagonist style. And listen, bro, I know Autumn fans weren't that big of a fan of antagonist, but motherfucker like me loved that album. All right, I loved it. it was one of my most listened to albums of 2021, 2022. 2022 it was 2022 <laughs> but that shit was hard all right this this song is hard it's like that you got them crazy vocal inflections on here as well i'm fucking with that next track here two sides massy ego not rapid hip-hop very r&b very chill his voice is crazy i was a fan of his last single that i covered on the new music friday as well but this song is just nice it puts you in a mood it puts you in that chill kind of space that nice mental headspace i was fucking with it a lot this man's voice is angelic this next track here not like that at all. Pull up from Eat a Profit. Now, there's something about rappers who don't sound like they're trying at all. However, they have a hard ass beat that I am just a sucker for. <laughs> the reason I say that is because he's not like really projecting his voice that much. He's not doing crazy vocal inflections, but almost that like lazy kind of sounding, almost monotone flow is fire on instrumentals like this. I would check this up. This is some smooth driving in the whip type shit. I'm fucking with it. Now, those are all the singles. That was 18 singles we just went through. So we got three projects here that I did check out that I enjoyed. This first one is a little EP from Nutso Thuggin. It's called Insane Gorilla. <laughs> this cover art, <laughs> this cover art's crazy. This man in the wood with a gorilla just chilling. It looks like it was like rendered in like a game engine or something, but the woods are on fire. I don't know, but this cover art matches the way this music sounds greatly. It's hard. It's just out there. It's hard. I don't know anything about this guy, but I stumbled across this EP and I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? This shit is hard. So I'll definitely consider checking this out if you're into that hard shit. Now this next one is from Detroit's very own Cash Doll. She has a new mixtape called Back on Dexter, a Gangsta Grills mixtape. DJ Drama is on a roll. He's been going crazy this year. Even the, towards the end of last year, he was going absolutely crazy with all these mixtapes he's been doing. To see him do one with Cash Doll is crazy. You know, there's going to be tons of Detroit features on here. Another Babyface Ray feature on here, as you can see. You know, Sada Baby, Ice Wear Vezo, RMC Mike. God, I, I love RMC Mike. I think he's my favorite out of Detroit. And that the song, Struggling Here with all these people on it, is crazy, you know, Detroit's always showing that love, and this is no different, it's fire, it's fire, and the last project I checked out this Friday, this week, was Flowers by Shy Glizzy, now, I know Shy Glizzy probably hasn't been on a lot of you guys' radar lately, but listen, bro, this album's good, 
Um, I'm more into Shike Lizzie's like harder shit is more street shit. This was definitely more melodic, more emotional, you know. It was definitely a deeper album as far as subject matter that we're used to from Shike Lizzie. And some of these songs you're seeing on here have been released before. They were singles, like the Young Boy song in here, the 21 Savage song in here. Uh, I think Stepping on Shit was even a single. I put them on here anyways just to showcase the project if you hadn't heard them, and those are good tracks. So I would definitely consider checking this out. Like I said, a more melodic, but... It was good. Shaq Lizzie's fire. I don't know. I, I understand the fall off allegations, you know, with the way he's been releasing music, but he's been going crazy recently. Uh, I think I enjoyed his last album more, but definitely don't sleep on this one. This one was good. This one was fire for sure. So that's about all of the music I listened to this week. Of course, there's stuff I missed. Of course, there's stuff I listened to. I didn't put on here because I didn't like it that much. But like I said, this playlist will be in the description down below. Make sure you check that out. It gets updated weekly. Every week I update it. And throughout the week, if there's anything I realize that I missed, I will add it to the playlist. So you make sure that you can stay up to date. You'll never be out of loop on new music. So if you want to make sure of that, like the playlist down there, follow it, keep up to date. But that's about all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. All right, every week I've been doing this. I'm going to keep fucking doing it because it's what I love to do. But if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to the bell so you don't miss any videos, any updates, anything like that. Go on the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram down there too. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace. Can I pitch a little Bobby just a young run around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man.